Yama and welcome to our next tips video. I'd like to have a bit of a chat to you about how you can extend um, your time with your child if you're doing a bit of artwork and then how you can get a little bit of language and literacy in there as well. So for instance I had a little friend and she has drawn a lovely photo here of a ladybug and what happened next was her dad said to her can you tell me about your picture? And her message was, it's a ladybug. I like ladybugs. She has eyelashes because she's a girl. And then her dad took his pen and he showed her how to record her message and make it into writing. So now what I'm going to do is show you how you can model to your child how to write the message. So the first thing that my little friend said to her dad is, it's a ladybug. So what I'm going to do is show you what I would do if, my, if I had a little person telling me a story about their picture. I would say, that's fantastic. Your message, it's a ladybug, I can write that down and make it into a story. Then basically what you're going to do is just narrate everything you're doing you're basically modelling to the child exactly every step you're using to write the message. So I'm going to begin by saying this. The first word I'm going to write is it's, and it starts with a capital I. A capital I is a big letter and it goes like this. You need a top and a bottom. That's a capital I. The next letter I'm going to write is a T. And if the child is a little bit older and starting to experiment with letters or it might have, they might have a T in their name, you can say, look, there's a T in it and there was a T in your name. And then you're going to say, and now I'm going to do an S. And an S goes around like this. Another word that has S in it is snake. Then you might explain, I'm going to leave a little space now to show a gap between the words. It's A. This is how I write a lowercase a. I go around and up and down. You can talk as much as you like about everything you're doing because that little child is like a little sponge and will be taking it all in. Keep reading back the message so that they know what you're writing is what they said. It's A. Leave a space and the next word is ladybug. If your little person is a little bit older, like four or five, and they're starting to be hearing sounds in words, you might say, ooh, I can hear it, an ooh, an L, ladybug. L, now I'm doing the A, writing the D, go around. This is a tall letter D, up and down. If your little person has a name that has a Y in it and you know that they are beginning to practice writing that letter, you might say, okay, it's your turn and pass the pen over and say, it's your job to write the Y. And then your little person is sharing the experience with you. So you keep writing and talking about what you're doing every step of the way, using all the language about writing for your little person to take in. The next thing you can do, because we're at the end of the sentence, is you can talk about a full stop. You might say, when we're finished talking, we'll finish the message, we do a full stop, which is just a dot like that at the end of the sentence. It tells us that we've finished that with that sentence, and then you might read it. And because it's the little person's message, they're going to be able to read it with you. Let's read it together. And then you point to the words, it's a ladybug. Make sure you heap lots of praise on your little person and tell them how clever they are so that they love writing with you and they feel really clever. By saying to your child, tell me about your picture, you're actually inviting your child to compose a story and that can be really empowering because it's showing your child that what we think and what we say is actually um, a story and can be uh, 
put into writing. So as you can see, by modelling or doing some shared writing with your child, you're going to start to use the words that explain writing. You're going to be um, offering them a little snapshot into how writing works. And all of these little experiences are going to really help them when they start school.